my name is Bill Houston. I represent a company called Carry John Speed Products. And Carry John Speed Products manufactures a self punch tool. Our self punch tool was written up in the Bee Culture magazine February 2012 on page 15. Which shows you my tool in the little article. I recommend before you ever start self punching that you read some type of book involving the method of raising queens or go to some sort of a bee school where it teaches you how to raise queens. With our tool, you get a complete set of instructions which we call hole punch method. That's spelled W-H-O-L-E, meaning it represents the entire procedure using some of the dicot B cup methods. We start off by using the cell bar holder, then we use the cell cup holder, and we use the protective cage. As we know, first queen out kills the rest. So we use these so we can protect the queen after they have started to emerge. Also, we recommend that you use warm water, such as a small crock pot that you can buy at a thrift store, or you can simply take a pan of water off the stove and use it, or you can possibly use your smoker with heavy fuel in it. Okay, when we use the cell punch tool, we have it soaking. Please note that our cell punch tool is not soldered, but it's actually welded to the 1 8 inch metal shank along with a nice plastic handle to punch it. Take a damp towel to cover the larva so it's not damaged and I like to sit down, lay it down flat. The tool is designed so you punch one complete cell cup. Working the tool back and forth as you're punching, simply punch it out, raise it up, take our handy dowel rod that we give you, raise it up, get the tool get the tool back in warm water and place the egg in one of our cups. Before using our die cut equipment I like to dip them in beeswax so that they get a little cluster of beeswax wrapped around but then you have to take a knife and clean out the center area that we're going to use to place the be in the cell. Okay, we use warm water to heat the tool. We come over here, we find the exact larva that you're after. Come down through here, don't hit a wire in our frame. Punch it out, take our dowel rod tool and shove it up through. Pull it off and set it in our die cut equipment put it on our frame and punch some other ones if you don't want to use the die cut equipment you can use the JZBZ equipment simply by finding a larva that you like Twisting the tool back and forth, punching it out using our tool, setting it in the JZBZ cup, take a toothpick, shove the edges down just a little bit around the toothpick, and you can make a complete row and use the JZBZ cups just as well. However, you do not have a protective cage to worry about the first queen out if you're not available to separate them. A unique trick is to take a JZBZ cup where a new queen cost twenty dollars plus shipping and handling our tool costs fifteen dollars which includes shipping and handling and simply take the take the queen's cell place it in a frame just like so and we go over here to a starter box just like so 
keeping it in the starter nook with bees for at least 18 to 24 hours. After the 18 to 24 hours, it's recommended that you move it over to a regular hive. I like to use a hive that is queen right. And I keep the queen in the bottom of the hive with its queen excluder in between the two different deeps with the cell in the top. And once the cell is ready to emerge, I take the old queen out, place the old queen into the nuke and take the queen excluder out so the new queen has access to the entire hive and after she gets back from mating in two weeks time I'll double check to make sure she is doing a good job and if she is everything's fine I just keep this queen as a backup queen in case something happens to one of my queens later on. If you're interested in purchasing one of our cell punch tools you can go to our website www.carriagehousebeeproducts.com Go to our store page and purchase the tool in the bottom right hand corner of the store page is a place to use PayPal to pay for it. That way I don't get paid until you get the tool. Or if you don't like computers and you want to just go ahead and send a check for $15 to Carriage House Products, 410 North Ewing Street, Lancaster, Ohio, 43130. We will gladly send you a tour. Thank you for watching our video.